Hi guys, this is Mark and Nico. This is gonna be our first video on our channel. We just want to say thank you. Thank you so much, man. What? Thank you guys. Thank you to all of you. First of all, we want to say thank you to Yanni from Yanni Morris. Click here, which is here. For pushing us for 10K. Thank you for promoting our channel. So this is gonna be our first videos. Enjoy guys. As you can see guys, we've got the um, BMW i8 here. And box wagon to wrap it. We're both gonna wrap this one in satin black. We're gonna do it step by step. We're gonna, we're gonna do it slowly. So if you got one at home, maybe you can do it at home as well. First thing you have to do when you're wrapping a toy car, make sure you clean it properly. Like every single edge in here, especially if you put this one as a display at home, you're gonna be it's gonna be like dust everywhere. So you have to make sure it's proper clean, so it will stick properly, no problem. So stage two, obviously you need tools. You need a squeegee, flex trim, a knife, which is you have to be very careful, and a snitty to cut the vinyl, the material, and the heat gun. So we're gonna start on the bonnet on this one. If you're gonna cut the vinyl, make sure you put some little excess as well so you can play around. You're not gonna struggle when you're laying it. So let's do this. First panel is the bonnet. Let's do this, guys. Let's do it bit by bit. Don't rush. Take your time. Snitty to find it. So when I lay the vinyl down, I use my thumb to feel for the shape, any lines, any recesses, also where I might cut the vinyl or tuck in the vinyl. You can also use the squeegee to lay it better if you have one. So I'm ready to cut my vinyl now. Be careful using the knife or even just ask your parents to do it for you. Now follow that line, get the guide, cut it very light so you know you won't leave any blade marks. People think if you use a knife you need a lot of pressure, but you don't. You just need the weight of the blade and a steady hand. So if you see any bubbles, you can really pop it with your knife as well. Now it's gone. Take your time. Me and Nico have years of experience. We weren't this good at the beginning, but we practiced. Walk slowly guys. Use the flex trim to tuck in the vinyl in the deep creases and make the edges look neater. So I've done the first panel, bonnet in satin black. Now I'm gonna do the wing and probably the other wing after. Mark down the bonnet and then the bonnet in two wings. It's trying to show off, isn't it? I'm gonna show you another one. Look at this one. Okay, don't, don't show the one yet. The next panel, I'm gonna do the door. Or maybe I'm gonna do the whole side now. <laughs> So have you noticed guys, Becky done a model car in the other video, there she is, click up there to see the video doing the model car. Some bits can be tricky, we've got a wing mirror here, so we're gonna try to like cut it around here, to still wrap it in satin black, but we'll see how we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna start here, use your squeegee. Lay it down there, make sure everything's stuck in, and then now we're gonna cut around. Alright, that took him a little bit, but yeah, still done it. After we've done this one, this toy is gonna be on bidding if you want it. Make sure you click here. <laughs> Go to the auction. <laughs> <laughs> so before I used to rub like anything, like I rub bikes. Oh, don't say that. I rub bikes. <laughs> I rub some pedal bike before for some for my friend. 
they actually love it because like what we said the vinyl is completely different than the, than the paint so there's some sort of colors of vinyl that you can get on the paint like chrome because if you do chrome in, in kitchen yeah, they they love it you want to make them happy do some different thing on their birthday on their special occasion make them more special How's it looking? Because it's looking nice! Even I clean it so many times, I always double check it because when you're doing the panel, you keep touching here, you keep touching there, so you put some grease everywhere in this one. I'm gonna do the front bumper now. It's a little bit tight in there, but we're gonna make it happen. What do you think, guys? As you can see, I've done the bonnet and the box size already. On this one, you don't really need the squeegee on this part because it's a small panel you can use the finger but make sure you use the gloves because without gloves it's gonna be tacky let me show you and you're gonna put some grease on it but when you when you wear gloves when you lay it it's just gonna slide it on it nice and smooth it's not gonna be rough it's not gonna be tacky you're not gonna leave any grease on it so you're safe I'm gonna lay on the roof now this roof is going to be nice and easy. If you're watching our video on Yanni, my video, we always get struggled doing the roof because Mark's too small and I get the average height. That's deep. I think this is the easiest roof I've ever done. And after that, I'm going to jump the two bumpers and the boot lid. And we'll see what we're going to add on top of this one. And when you do roping, make sure you clean your area. So you know what's gonna happen. Your parents gonna get mad. So I'm about to lay the front bumper as well. Let's do this. I'm using some gloss black with the headlight. It looks like a proper race car now. Let's do this. There you go guys. It's now finished. So it was grey, it's now satin black. What do you think guys? Um, make sure you comment down below because we're still waiting for Nico. It's like him. So as you can see, I'm just trying to do a good job. <laughs> Not a rush job. So we're gonna see later on with the quality and the quantity. Boy! I finished the car, but I thought it needs something else. So I found the yellow vinyl and I do some play around. So if you're rapping, feel free to experiment. Try something, it doesn't last forever. And if it's not good, peel it off and start again. So both cars are finished now, um, we're gonna leave them overnight, settle the vinyl, and then final check tomorrow. We're gonna see you then. Hi guys, we're back! It's Mark and Nico again. Um, we left these cars for overnight. What do you think? I think I'm happy. The vinyl stayed down on the toy car. I wrap it in satin black. Add some gold elements everywhere, as you can see, number two. My birthday, 2nd of August. 
Philomite's brand and everything. So yeah, I think it's looking good at the moment. Black and gold always works. So I've done my one in satin black yeah. with yellow accents, um, black out all the windows, gloss black headlights, yellow grill. Yeah, I'm happy with this. I hope you like it too. So maybe who knows, maybe we'll do a little competition when we reach maybe 100k. Maybe we'll give this away for you guys. So let us know guys, which one do you think is better, left or right? Make sure you vote right there. I think this one is looking better standing out properly though. Batman. So thank you for watching guys. We got loads of videos coming. On June, we go into Animize Grand Tour. We're very excited for that. And we'll see you soon.